My name is Lauren and I'm here today with Summer Starts at EPL. And today we are going to do a science experiment. We're going to make what's called elephant toothpaste. So I'm going to go over what you need and then we're going to try it out. So for elephant toothpaste, you're going to need a pop bottle of some sort. They say two liters, but smaller also works. So I have a smaller pop bottle here because that's what I had at home. You're going to need 3% hydrogen peroxide. You're going to need a little bit of dish soap, some dry yeast, bring it over here. And the dry yeast you're going to mix with some warm water to make a solution of yeast and water and so that it foams up. And that's just what I have in these cups here is I have some yeast solution. Okay, and if you don't want to make too much of a mess, a good idea is to put your pop bottle inside of a baking sheet or a roasting pan or a bucket, or if you're doing it outside, maybe lay down a tarp or a garbage bag just to catch any overflow. And that's what you need for elephant toothpaste. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is add your yeast to your warm water and let that kind of foam up and come to life. Then we're going to add some hydrogen peroxide to our bottle. And I'm going to use a little half cup measuring cup here just to help me because it's got some pores on the side. Okay. That's okay. We're going to need that next. So I've got not quite half a cup of hydrogen peroxide in my measuring cup. And I'm just going to pour it carefully into my top bottle. Now, we're going to add some dish soap. There's no real measurement to the dish soap, just a squirt or so into the hydrogen peroxide at the bottom there. And we're going to give it a bit of a stir, a swirl, just to dissolve it up a little bit. Okay. And next, we're going to add our yeast. Now, this is what should set off our chemical reaction. Yeast acts as a catalyst or a helper to separate the oxygen from the hydrogen peroxide, making lots of little oxygen bubbles really, really fast. The other neat thing about this reaction is it's known as exothermic, which means that it, it makes heat. So the bottle will actually get warm during this reaction. So we're gonna pour in some yeast. Let's see if we can get the foam going. Oh, I see it. Oh, it's coming very slowly. Here it comes. <laughs> Hoping that it'll reach the top and come out the top. There it goes. <laughs> so you can see all the little oxygen bubbles coming out the top of the pop bottle. You could also add some coloring, food coloring to this if you wanted to make it a color. Um, I've just left it as it is, but you could do that as well. Add red to make it look like lava. And if you touch the side of the bottle here, it's a little bit warm. So again, that's an exothermic reaction. And that, my friends, is elephant toothpaste. So thank you so much for joining me. Make sure to check out epl.ca slash summer starts for lots of other fun summer activities. Um, while you're there, remember to log your reading minutes. Uh, each weekly submission counts as one entry into our grand prize draw. You can also enter our weekly contest to find this year's mascot, Turtle Swift, for a chance to win a free book. Thank you for watching and make sure to check back for more summer starts at EPL activities. Bye. Love science? Want to check out more? Visit epl.ca, click on Digital Content, and then click on EPL from Home. Under Contents, select School Age Kids, and then click on EPL from Home Science and Math Resources for Kids. If it's not displayed, use the arrow to scroll through the lists. Check out this great list of resources for more science fun. Remember, share your creations with us at hashtag SummerStartsEPL.